Let's see topic three for this session. In this topic, we'll be covering as what is cost of debentures. As you've seen, cost of capital will be dividing into two parts. First, we'll see how to find individual sources of finance cost. Then, second, we'll see how to club them together and find the cost of capital. So, first, we'll see how to find out the individual cost for each source. So, we'll be starting with each its source at a time. So, first, we'll be starting is with cost of debenture. Now we should be clear with what are debentures. Debenture is what? An acknowledgement of a debt. Debentures are like a loan from the public. Now tell me what two things happen in a loan. There's an interest and there's a principal amount, right? Interest which you have to give to the other party and the principal amount which you need to repay back at the end. So two things come into picture. Now, if you want to find out the return, okay, I want money through debentures and public is only going to give me money through debentures is when? when I give them a minimum return. So how do you find out the return for a debenture holder? Now, so what do we focus on? We focus on cost of debenture. Cost is abbreviated as KD in cost of capital, the short forms we use. So cost of debenture is interest divided by principal. So what will be your return? Out of total principal amount, how much interest you are getting? So interest divided by principal amount, right? Now we have seen one more thing. Interest should be always after tax. Okay. How? Why? Because if you see how profits are distributed, sales minus diet expenses gross profit. Gross profit minus indirect expenses gives you operating profit. Operating profit, first we pay debenture holders minus interest. So operating profit minus interest gives you profit before tax. Interest is always tax deductible. So profit before tax minus tax gives you profit after tax. Profit after tax, we pay preference shareholders. Profit after tax minus preference dividend, we get earnings available to equity shareholders. So one thing you notice, interest is always tax deductible. PBT leads to tax deductible and you get profit after tax. And how do you calculate PBT? Operating profit minus interest. So when you find cost of debenture also, do it after tax. How do you do after tax? One minus tax rate at the end. So the formula for cost of debenture is out of total principal amount, how much interest you get. So interest divided by principal after tax you do at the end. As cost is always in a percentage, so whatever answer you get, multiply by 100. Because cost, returns should, will always be in percentage. Right? How much return an investor expect? 20%, 30%, 40%. As returns are always in percentage, you will get the returns in percentage over there. Sometimes what may happen is that, did you may issue a debenture at a premium or a discount. Premium means more than the face value. Discount means less than the face value. Means 10 rupees thing I'm issuing for 12 rupees. Means I'm issuing more than the face value. Discount means 10 rupee thing I'm issuing for 8 rupee. I can issue for less than the face value as well. Premium is to be always added to the face value. Discount is always deducted from the face value. So in case of premium or discount, what happens? The formula changes a bit. Use interest divided by net proceeds. Because principal amount is not there. So interest divided by net proceeds as such. Now, you have a doubt, let us do a small illustration on it and see how do you actually work out this illustration. For example, if we say A limited issues 10 lakh 8% debentures at par. Tax rate applicable to the company is 50%. Find out the cost of debt capital. You can see four parts are given to us. Let us do one one part at a time. Now, first thing, how what do we need to find out return for debenture holder? Interest. How much will be your interest? 10 lakh into 8%, right? Similarly, how much is the principal amount? 10 lakh, right? So what you do now, in principal amount will be the denominator. Interest will come as a numerator. So interest divided by principal amount after tax you do, you get as the cost of debenture in this case, right? We'll do it more if you have a doubt. For example, if I say B limited issues 1 lakh 8% debentures at a premium of 10%. Tax rate is 60%. Find out the cost of debt capital. Now, 1 lakh 8% debentures. Find out many two things interest and the principal. Premium or discount, you change uses a net proceeds. So, 1 lakh 8% how much you get? 8,000, right? So, 8,000 is the interest part. Now, as I told you, premium is to be added. Premium is 10%. So, 1 lakh if you add 10%, how much you get? 1 lakh 10,000. So, 8,000 divided by 1 lakh 10,000. You do it after tax. Tax rate is how much given to you over here is 60%. So 1 minus 0.6. If you solve at the end, you get the cost of debenture is how much? 2.91%. It means to give a minimum return to a debenture holder to get money from them. How much the minimum return I should pay them? 2.91%. Then only they'll give me money at the end. Okay. If you have a doubt, we'll do one more part. For example, if they say 
A limited issues one lakh eight percent debentures at a discount of five percent. Tax rate is sixty percent. Now find out the interest first. Interest will be how much one lakh into eight percent, which will be how much eight thousand, right? Similarly, divide by the net proceeds. Discount what you do minus from the amount. Discount is how much five percent. So one lakh five percent is how much five thousand, right? So one lakh minus five thousand gives you how much ninety five thousand. Interest is always after tax, so minus the tax rate at the end, you get the cost of debenture of three point three seven percent at the end. Right? Now, keep it very simple. Interest should be the numerator, principal should come as a denominator. Net proceeds will happen in case of a premium or discount. Now, for example, if flotation cost come into picture, how will you change over there? For example, they say B limited issues ten lakh nine percent debentures at a premium of ten percent. Cost of flotation is two percent. Tax rate is fifty percent. Find out the cost of debt capital. What is cost of flotation? Cost of issue. For example, when I was issuing debentures, some expenses need to be incurred. I won't bear from own my own pocket. I'll pass it to the other person. So investor has to bear. Now, if investor has to bear, what will happen? His return will reduce. So always cost of flotation is deducted from the principal amount or net proceeds amount. Okay. Now keep everything clear. Two things we need is interest and net proceeds. Let us fill in the blanks. Interest will be how much? Ten lakh nine percent debentures. So ten lakh into nine percent gives you how much? Nine thousand. Similarly, sorry, ten lakh into nine percent gives you ninety thousand, right? Similarly, premium of ten percent. Add ten percent to ten lakh. So if you add ten lakh into ten percent, we'll get the net proceeds with premium. Flotation cost is two percent. What do you do? Minus two percent from the end to end. So minus twenty two thousand from it. Final net proceeds how much you'll get? Ten lakh seventy six thousand. So net proceeds be careful. Add up the premium, but minus the expenses because cost of flotation is what expenses and expenses will reduce your return, right? So minus any flotation expenses or cost of issue. Tax is after tax. As you know, interest is after tax minus the tax rate at the end. Tax rate given to us in this case is how much? Fifty percent. Do one minus point five at the end. We get the cost of debenture. Cost of debenture in this case is how much? Four point one seven percent. It means to get money over here, I should give the investor minimum of four point one seven percent, and then only they'll give us funds at the end. This is how you find out this cost of debenture. Keep it clear. Return for investor will be what interest divided by principal after tax, premium or discount interest divided by net proceeds. Cost of flotation is there. Subtract from the principal or the net proceeds.